the and for the man Leo Mario can you tell us please so for the senior men we'll have six teams and those will be France Italy Argentina Colombia Chile and Mexico so we'll have two podiums tonight today sorry we'll have both finals today uh, probably award ceremony will be later on either today or tomorrow I'm not sure yet today um, but and then we will have half rest day <laughs> half rest day yes suppose uh, we today was supposed to be rest day but because we had some rain yesterday um, the races were postponed for the senior uh, ladies and men so that's why we're having these two finals to today and we'll start road racing tomorrow Finish one mark. First year, fishing from the top line. Termina el calentamiento de la primera vez. So senior ladies final, we're having a rerun, kind of, because yesterday they had a lap and a half left for the race to finish, but the rain just couldn't let them skate as fast as they should, so they paused the race. And if we saw what yesterday happened, it was Taiwan and Colombia leading the entire race. Let's see if the other countries learn from that experience and take a different approach. What we saw yesterday, Mario, was that all the teams were like waiting in the Colombian moves. Let's see if for today they have they have a new strategy, so they can they, we can have a race with different movements or or with different uh, strategies uh, more than waiting Colombia to be in the front uh, leading for the next laps. Correct. We see a more aggressive France and Italy. On this race, um, I think they learned from yesterday that they really need to lead and that at the end of the pack it's just harder to move by 
on these relay tags. We had a really bad crash from Argentina, from Rocio Berber. I think she also hit her head while she fell. We'll have to wait and see that We're she's missing. okay. We're missing 10 laps to go. There is Gabriela Rueda skating for the Colombian team. She's skating behind Ho Sheng Yang from Taiwanese. Very good skating right now from Italy trying to lead. The Colombians are just having very good tags. Uh, the three of them are just really light ladies, but they have a very good push from one another. We have to remember the viewers that uh, to make the relay, they have a box where, where they should do it. They can't pass the line where, the, where it is supposed to be the, the relay. If they cross that line with not doing it, uh, the team will be disqualified. We can see that for the four teams, they are, they, are, they are aggressive than yesterday. Much more aggressive. We see Colombia uh, has been controlling some part of the race, but here it's... Uh, it wasn't easier than the, yesterday. Wow, great pass from Fabriana right there. Passing both French and... Taiwan. We can see Maria Fernanda teams. He's, she's leading for now the path. We see Italy struggling back there, trying to catch up uh, the three ladies up front. Gabriela Rueda, Ho Shen Yang, the French girl. We're now, almost here at the end, and great sprinting from these athletes here. We can see France is struggling a little bit, and Colombia just taking a huge gap with Fabriana Arias here. Maria Fernanda teams now leading the, the pack, while Taiwan does a great pass on the inside. Great corner from the Taiwanese here, and it's going to be between... Chinese side, uh, Taiwan and Colombia chasing. Yu Xing Peng from Taiwan, she's leading, at, and then behind, it's Gabriela Rueda. It's gonna go all the way at the end, all the way at the end, Colombian. I wow, great, great, oh, oh, and a crash. And a crash from the athletes after having such a great finish. It was very, very fun to see this two skaters going head to head. Ho Sheng Peng, Ho Sheng Yang, between Gabriel Isabel Rueda. Who do you think won this race? We have to see the replay. I really can't see who won the race. We just saw Gabriela going up in that corner very fast. She had more speed coming out of that corner. Uh, but we'll just have to see. From this angle, it's going to be very hard to see who won. I think Taiwan won. Not sure, but you can see that both just had all yeah, Taiwan. Taiwan. I think it's Taiwan won this race. Second hawk for Taiwan, exactly from Ho Sheng Yang. That's going to put her back on the top of the podium here. Do you know who did the third place? I think it was France. Uh, France was always at that third spot and Italy was always chasing that first group. You can there see we here. Have. France did the third place. For me the most impressive was that final hawk of both athletes. They were so wide on that hawk that they just really couldn't control 
how low they were and they bumped into each other and having Ho Sheng Yang uh, crashing at the end. But I think Ho Sheng Yang doesn't really matter by now that she fell. It's just the excitement here with her other two teammates winning uh, their gold medal. And what I liked it the most is that it was a really different race from yesterday's. It was, it was. I think they took a different approach and it really paid off for for the Taiwanese team. We see a pretty bad crash from Ho Sheng Yang there, but just an amazing effort on that final straightaway. And now, Maita, we're on to the senior men. Last final of the day. Senior men 3K relay. As we saw in the senior ladies, this is a fast, fast race. It's not a long distance race. It's a mid distance race. And uh, actually, what the coaches decide is to have sprinters more than, than long distance racer, uh, skaters. Yes, you're right. I think most of the skaters are either sprinters or they just have endurance athletes that have a very high top speed. From the senior women, we saw Fabriana and Gabriela. They're both distance racers, but they can definitely race a thousand meters and probably win. So uh, really fast skaters here on both of the senior men and senior women. But now for the Colombia, it's going to be the Colombian team on the senior men. It's going to be different. They have two sprinters, Andres Jimenez and Pedro Cosila, and a distance skater that will be Oscar Co. Who do you think Mario is going to win this race? I think the favorites, of course, will will be the Colombian as. They already had their individual medals, but we've seen a very consistent Italian and French team throughout the different races. Uh, we see Gwendol having a, f a couple medals now. Uh, we see Chile with Ricardo Verdugo uh, skating great races. And then uh, we see the Italian team with go uh, some... Uh, some sorry some medals on the distance and also on the sprints so we'll see if they're going to be able to surpass the Colombian team and also the French team but like Diego said yesterday you can't really rule out any team this this is just the kind of race where there is crashing pulling DQs so Let's just hope there's none of that and just some amazing raising. Yeah, Mario, I agree. Uh, the teams have to be very concentrated. The athletes have to be really focused on this race because it's not just doing the distance and being, um, being in the front. You have to be able to manage uh, not just your team but the other teams that nobody stops behind you that you have a your relay um uh, that you have your your relay your really clean that nobody is um is 
Yeah, nobody just blocks you. Yeah, from nobody the just it blocks you. So you have a clean relay, and you have all the all the all the boards, all the um, uh, all the strength from those all the strength pushes. from the pushes. Yeah. Medalla de oro en la modalidad de relevos senior mayores. Nos vamos con quien tiene ya dos medallas de oro, dos medallas de oro. ¿Quién es? Jean Ho Chen. Jean Ho Chen, felicitaciones, Laura, felicitaciones. ¿Y cómo vivieron, cómo fue este, esta competencia frente a Colombia? Already two gold medals for you. How do you feel about winning this competition as a team? So two gold medals already. How do you feel winning as a team? It's very difficult to win Colombia because we know Colombia is very strong. But we all do my best to the competition, yes. Okay, so uh, how did you, did you feel about the competition and how did you win it? Ok, eh, dijeron que era muy complicado venir a competir en Colombia, que sabían la calidad de los patinadores colombianos, pero que hicieron lo mejor que pudieron y esto fue lo que les dio valor. Dos medallas de oro. ¿Qué se, qué se puede esperar de Taiwán en la ruta? Two gold medals. What can we expect about Chinese Taipei on route? What? Again? What can we expect of Chinese Taipei in the route track? Route track. Estamos en la traducción. And here we go with the senior men final of the 3K relays. They are trying to get uh, the championship, so están diciendo que quieren ganar acá el campeonato en Colombia representando. I think France needs to control the race, as it's just harder to pass. Wow, we see an Italian crashing there with the Colombian. You know what, Maita, I'm seeing uh, the French team trying to lead all the way from the beginning. And Colombia is doing right at taking a little bit of, of advantage right there. Just to get off that that zone of on the tags where everyone is just so tied in together, there's really no space. We just saw Oscar Cole kind of like jumping. jumping over the other skaters to get to his tag. Wow. I can see that they are more aggressive than yesterday. We can definitely see that, and I'm seeing the Colombians here having a little bit of trouble yeah. on those pushes. Um, they aren't as comfortable as yesterday. They're just not finding some room for their pushes, so yeah. it's making it a lot more difficult. They aren't finding their space. While France yeah. and Italy, they're just having better lines on the inside. They have a little bit more space, and we're seeing some great skating here from Argentina now. Wow. Colombia trying to pass on the outside there. Ooh. That was a push from Italy onto France. Oscar Cole from Colombia. Sylvia Ivan from France now leading pushing on into Wendal and you see the the pace just coming 
so much faster. Everyone's just getting on to their top speed. Italy now trying to p make a move. And Pedro from Colombia also passing there. Great pass from Pedro. And again, there's just so much movement on, on that relay box. We have Andres Jimenez from Colombia leading. Then the French team, the Italian on the third place. Now Colombia is going to go all out. They need to go all out now. They start making some, some space from the other teams. Now we have Pedro. Ducho Marsili and Yendal. And we're lap. on to the final lap. Colombia just took the lead here. And they're having an amazing race while Italy and friends are chasing him. And that's Andres Jimenez from Colombia. And they're going to take the lead and the win for the Colombian team. And it will be Colombia, France, Colombia, and Italy. France and Italy, yeah. It wasn't uh, an easy race. No, the Colombian team was having some issues at the beginning of the race on those relay tags. And we just saw that they just moved up to the front when Pedro did that move. And they just consistently with Cole and Jimenez led the, led the race. Yeah, they, there we can see the excitement. They are really happy because it wasn't uh, an easy medal. Now we have Oscar Cole with two gold medals, Pedro Cossi, two gold medals, and this will be Andres Jimenez, first gold medal of the World Championships. Uh, we can say that Andres Jimenez, he just made the national team after Andres Munoz's accident. So I think it's um, a happiness moment for him because of not doing the team for the, for the national championships and then uh, having this place because of Andres' accident uh, is the way that he is the way that he can uh, finish like this year of racing in the top top level, winning this race for him, for the team. Yes, I think uh, Andres Jimenez. It's a way of honoring Andres Munoz uh, not being here. Probably Andres Munoz would have raced this relays and for the Colombian team to win this with Andres Jimenez uh, replacing Andres Munoz I think it's uh, just a way of honoring the hard work and both both yes both did uh, hard hard work correct uh, Andres Jimenez you he, he didn't make the team because really in Colombia we have like a bunch of skaters that they are one best than the other so uh, to do that national selection is uh, hard. It is very hard. There's around six to eight uh, sprint sprinters in Colombia that can make the team, you know. We've seen some of them winning at one nationals, the other win at the other nationals. It's just a lottery box once they go into the team selections or team trials. Any of them can make the team and in this case was Andres Munoz and unfortunately he's not here due to his crash. We see them celebrating great sportsmanship here with Argentina. Mario, like this we ended the races we had for today. Um, we will wait the hour ceremonies and we will see you tomorrow here again to begin the road races. Correct. Very short session for for today after having three very long day, days of racing these past three days. Um, but yeah, we're going to finish this with uh, this is all the track racing we'll have. We'll go on to the award ceremony, as you said, Maita, and we'll start tomorrow with the 100 meters for the junior and then for the senior senior men and senior ladies. On the screen, we just saw how France was leading, and they just kind of messed up that tag going inside and going outside.